Hi everyone, welcome to Pop Paul's Workshop. I've had requests on many occasions to make a paracord jig. And this is actually one of the very first projects that I made when I first got the CNC machine. So today, I'm going to show you how I made it, and I'm going to share this as a free plan on the Inventables project page. So let's get started. I've had quite a few requests for this paracord jig and I wanted to be able to show you how I had designed it and also to be able to update it because when I first designed this in the easel software it didn't have a lot of the features uh, that easel has today so I went ahead and updated the file and made it much more user friendly so that you'll be able to carve this in your own shop now I've updated this um plan quite a bit from the original. So in the first workpiece, what I've done is actually show you the whole thing. It has the all the numbers in here with the increments. This is one inch increments. I've got the small line that shows a half inch and I have where the slot goes to be able to hold the uh, bolt. But this is more of a template just to show you the overall view. In the second workpiece, what I have is the area that's ready to carve. And I'm using a sixteenth of an inch bit to be able to carve this. And then on the third workpiece, this is the back side that I have set up. And it'll cut with the black line all the way through. And with the second one that cuts the groove that that bolt rides in, it cuts down 0.1 of an inch. And that's actually shallower than the one that I had done. But you really don't need to go any deeper. And you can see over here in the preview exactly what that's going to look like. Okay, on this fourth work piece, I have the three by three block shown. And here in the center, I have the drill feature that is going to be able to just put a pilot hole in this for you. And then you can take a handheld drill or you can take a um, drill press and drill it the rest of the way through. If you choose to make the other block where it can be turned, then just make two of these first blocks. If you wish to glue it on the way I did in my jig, just go ahead and cut out both of them and you're set to go. Glue this one on in place and then this one will hold the bolt. To show you the different components on this, there's really only three parts. There's two blocks of wood, one here that I've actually glued down permanently, and then I have a second block here that has a screw that will allow you to slide and make the adjustments on any size paracord, bracelet, um, that you want to be able to make. Now these blocks are three by three and I also have these where you can cut them out on the CNC machine but quite frankly if you've got a, a table saw or a, a miter saw it might be actually easier to cut it out there. The other thing this is indexed on one inch increments all the way down to 15. I also will have a hole that is a pilot hole here so that you can take a drill or a drill press and drill it all the way through. And then on the back side, you can see where I have this recessed in and cut all the way through. The bolt that I'm using to be able to make this slide is nothing more than a toilet hold down bolt that you can get from your local hardware store. But I like this flange on here because that will fit into this slot perfectly. And you can see how that fits in and slides. we we'll get it where you can see with the camera. And that will slide right along there easily. So if I just drop this back in. And then I can drop my block of wood onto it. And with the washer and a wing nut, we're set. The buckles that I have on here, 
you can pick up from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or even Walmart, and they have various sizes that you can choose from. Now I've attached a buckle onto the side, so if I chose, I could add two additional ones along the way, and I've just attached them with the cable hold downs. Now on my paracord jig, I went ahead and glued this block in place because this is the only size clip that I use. But for many of you out there, you may have multiple sizes and you can actually put three across here. And if you had a bolt in this point, you could actually rotate this around and have three more along this side. But that's a personal preference that you can decide if you want to do that or not. On the Inventables project page, I'm going to go ahead and post a link so that you can download the plans for this jig free. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.